is that out? There was, he's bowled him, in fact. I thought at first, maybe, and it did his pad, and he was appealing for LBW, but it's got through the gate. He got him on the back foot, Murley, it was the Dusra. Triscothic didn't read it, and that is a vital breakthrough for Sri Lanka. 84 for one. They just needed a wicket. England was starting to get on top, and the magician has conjured up something. Triscothic gone for 31, England 84 for one. Oh, that's a very conf that is out. A confident shout goes the way of Sri Lanka. Now, at first, I thought there were two noises, and the call was for a bat pad catch on the offside. LBW is the other option, and confirmation has come through now. That is LBW. The Dusra from Murley, not the first time that Alistair Cook has been undone by it as he props half forward. Very clever bowling. Hawkeye saying the ball clips the top of the stumps. Rudy Kutzen goes the way of the master off spinner who's beginning to spin the web that we thought he might. Five to Cook. It's 104 for two now. Well, that's it for Strauss as well. Such a key wicket. Andrew Strauss has gone for 55. He played so well, too. He seemed to have unraveled some of the mysteries. Now that Murley's got him as well, you suspect that he's on an inexorable path to winning the game for his country. Catch taken off the gloves of Sangakara by Mahela Jaiwardner. And that partnership. Mira Litteran and Jai Wardner is prolific. 57 times they've worked together. 55 for Strauss, and England now 111 for three. They get it! I think that could be out. No, yes, it is. Thought so. Just the impression I had on the way Kevin Peterson would have looked at the umpire after turning away. That's a big wicket, that. You can see the jubilation on the Sri Lankans. They know it's a huge, huge wicket. Kevin Peterson trying to play carefully and steadily. He's caught by Dilshan at short leg, a very simple catch. Tries to go down the pitch and then just pokes at the ball, bat and pad together. And it's an easy, simple catch. Oh, I bet he's mad at this. He likes to play shots rather than just playing defensively. Uh, Looks to just bounce off the pad on the glove. He's out for six, 120 for four, England. Oh, that could be out. Yes, I thought so. He played at it very firmly, did Andrew Flintoff. Four balls it took. It's not his style, you see, to play defensive against the spin. Same with Peterson, they like to bash the ball. Not so easy starting against a great spinner who's turning it. it can be very difficult indeed. Well, he's out for naught. See it here, goes quite firmly at it. Yeah, that's easy, that's too firm at the ball when you first come in, you need to play with softer hands, relaxed hands. Plenty off for naught, we lost five wickets of England for 36 runs. England 120 for five now. Oh, how do you play? Well, they're appealing for it, catching the edge of the bat hitting his boot and bouncing up for a very smart catch. Now, I'm not sure whether that hit the floor or hit the boot. I know it hit the boot, but what did it hit the floor first? So now the umpires have got to get together and decide whether or not they're going to ask the third umpire for a view. That's exactly what they'll do. Into his boot it goes. But is that ground and boot or just boot? I think he'll give him out. I think. Can't believe how unlucky he is. Watch out! Look how low it keeps on him. He manages to get some bat on it onto the toe. It jumps up. Guy dives forward one-handed. I mean, that's as unlucky as I really think you could be. And the amount the ball spun, oh. kept low and spun. And he has. He's managed to play it, which is to his credit, but onto his boot. Peter Hartley is the third umpire. Here it comes. It's out, as we thought. 
Well, I really do feel for Paul Collingwood. I thought he's grafted and worked. It's been very, very tough, because I, I really don't know how you score off Morley at the moment. Surviving is pretty difficult. Collingwood, unluckily, this time out for nine. Morley's got six wickets for 33, and England are in dire trouble, 125 for six. Fantastic delivery by Murley. Wicket number seven for him. Unplayable, really, for Jones. It pitched on a bad off stump. He was playing for the turn in. It turned the other way. Nobody can read him. Really, it's all over by the shouting for England now. What a difficult time this is proving to be for Geraint Jones, too, as his wicket keeping improves. So the runs are drying up. No fault of his own today. That's a ripper from Murley. This extraordinary ability to spin the ball both ways is doing for England. Seven out of seven for Murley, just six for Jones, and 132 for seven now England. Ah! Well, LBW, yes! John Lewis becomes number eight for Murley. An extraordinary performance from him, and a desperate afternoon for England. A ripping, spitting off break in an over that has confused Lewis from first to last. Look at the amount of spin there, and that's any problem at all for Rudy Kutzen to give it out LBW. It's a big problem for any English batsman to play it. Well, he might high-five his mates. If ever there was a one-man show, we're watching it. Lewis made seven, it's 153 for nine. <laughs> 